Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. With hits like I Miss You and Touch It, this R&B diva is an undeniable force. And more than her music, she's an advocate for those battling substance abuse and the LB LGBTQ community. Plus, we can't forget her reality show success, which includes being my castmate on TV One's R&B Divas, honey, and now she is fixing her life. So please welcome my girl, <laughs> my friend, my sister star, my <laughs> Tell our age, child. Oh, oh, I love it. I wore this for you. Yes. I wore this for you. And I wore this for me. I wore you wore for you. Amazing. If I don't love me, who else is going to do it, right? right? Baby. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Have a seat. This is the purple pillow. Uh, Mike, I'm so excited. Me sure. too. Yeah, oh so God. glad to be here. I'm you look so cute. You do. Thank you. Yeah, you've been getting your workout on. Yes. You've been turning yes. up down to the fitness. Yes. Um, it's become a way of life that I have to get yes. back to. But yes. yeah, you know, I took a little break. But so what was your what was your constant choice to pursue health and fitness? Because as entertainers, it's tough. We travel. Oh my it's gosh. Tough. Is it? Um, really, for, be, for the way it made me feel. Mm -hmm. Like once I once I found a, a, a regimen and a excuse me a workout that I liked and a trainer mm -hmm. uh -huh. that was awesome, I was good. Yeah, I was in. Yeah, you know, wow. still it's still it's still a little. You got it. Has to be more than motivation though. No, it's, that you it's, stand on. You just yes, gotta, you can't, yes. motivation is not it. You, you just gotta, you gotta, gotta just keep. You gotta find another why. It's lifestyle. It is. You just gotta keep yeah. going. But, but you know what? When you fall off, it's okay. Yeah, because you're it's human. Fine. Exactly. You just sure. And I love, on. I love myself. I know that's you know, fine. I love myself in a totally different way. Right, yeah. So I can accept, like, Whatever. it's not that deep. Yeah, right. this is, the inside is what counts. Definitely. <laughs> Hello, somebody. I got the insides good, so I don't, I really don't care what's going on. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, Monifa, you have had a large amount of success in your musical career. <sighs> and we grew up in an era, I'm not gonna tell our age, okay. when True. we were on okay. <laughs> record labels. Yes. And now yes. things have kind of segued into independent. Right. So, I know that you've had to take that route as well. Tell us how that feels for you to segue from label label support to now being indie. Mm -hmm. ah! Wait, exactly. exactly. Okay. So <laughs> now that I got that out of the way. No, um, it's 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 pretty. Uh, it's it's like a double-edged sword. But I think the the best thing about it is that you're you're able to be in control. Mm -hmm. It's just learning how to be independent. Mm -hmm. You know, coming from being. Almost babes basically spoiled. Yes. You know, everybody doing everything for, for you. Every, yes. you know, lame, you, know <laughs> you don't have to money, worry about nothing. Budgets. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Budgets that you had to pay back. And thank God nobody asked me. Yep. Yep. Right. <laughs> yeah. Nobody. <laughs> I, got, I got off scot free, honey. Yeah. Um, you know, so, you know, all of that stuff. But it's, it, you know, you live and you die by your own sword. And mm -hmm. that's what I love about it. Like, you get in what you put out. Yeah, you mm -hmm. recoup and yourself and now. You recoup, exactly. Like <laughs> and um, it, 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 it forces you to really, like, to really. Put in, like mm -hmm. put in the work. Are you what it, it calls you to your higher self? Yes, real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that's right. Yeah. So Mo, down to the R and B divas. Okay. Okay. You and Therese, mm -hmm. um, you all had an amazing wedding. We were so excited. It was yes, congratulations. Thank you. Thank um, you. I sang at that wedding. <laughs> <laughs> she sure but, did. Um, Beautifully. It was it was the first same sex marriage on television ever. Yeah. What strides do you think that our nation needs to take in order to facilitate more rights and and just more things for the LGBTQ community? Like, what do we what are we still missing when it comes to the LGBTQ community? We're missing humanity across the board, and then of course in the LGBTQ community, um, I mean that's just like a whole nother like. That's a whole nother thing. Mm -hmm. I just think across the board, we are missing humanity. This is where, you know, living in a time of complete disrespect mm -hmm. um, for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I feel lied to. I feel angry. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many emotions. Um, we, I mean, we have to get it right across the board first. Like, just period. Just as human, human beings. Right. Mm -hmm. as, as human beings treat each other like humans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of entertainers are using their platform to encourage people to vote. Mm -hmm. And I know that that's something that you are very passionate about. So mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit about your platform and how you're encouraging people, especially African Americans in our community, to get out there and just rock the vote out? I just yeah. did a, a PSA uh, mm -hmm. for uh, we, we, we All Vote 
uh, Michelle Obama's initiative. Mm -hmm. So we did, my uh, Therese and I, we did uh, PSA for it, and so I'll be p posting it, but I posted when I voted it, you know, voted, <clears throat> excuse me, earlier this month, and um, I was like, I had my little sticker on my nose, mm -hmm. and I was like, I voted. If it counts, I'm counted. That's well, right. Because you know, I, you know, I have this thing, I know a lot of people like, eh, it doesn't matter. Just, just in case. Right. Just in, in case. case. Take your tail out there and vote. You know. Well, we've got more with my girl Monifa when we return. So stay right <laughs> with us. Yeah, just in case. Just you in know, case. Even just though the election. I was in the abortion clinic. I was 19, and I had plans and dreams. And the child was not a part of the vision. So why did you keep her? because I wasn't clear and I asked God to um, give me a sign of what I should do. We are back with R&B diva Monifa, and that was a very powerful clip of her time spent with Iyanla Vanzant on the season finale of Iyanla Fixed My Life. Monifa, yes. in going through that experience, what was the most eye-opening for you? I was so ready for that uh, when the opportunity came, that was the, the first relationship I, I thought about was my, my daughter and I. Because mm -hmm. um, although although it's not horrible, I know we had a lot of healing to do. I was her parent. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I wanted, uh, it's very important to me. I have grandchildren mm -hmm. and I really wanted to uh, begin that, that journey of healing and, and allow her, like give her an opportunity, or both of us, right. mm -hmm. an opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. and, you, and do you think that from R&B Divas to Fix My Life, because you, you were working on it constantly. You think Maybe. that it's, it's progress. It's Absolutely. Progress. Um, I probably have grown up, um, in the last five years, I've grown up more than, I've, than I have in my whole adult life. Mm. Like, I am, I am a grown woman mm -hmm. now, emotionally, mentally. So what is yeah. next for this grown woman? <laughs> Keep doing her grown woman stuff. I know, I know right? right? <laughs> <laughs> um, living, loving, and um, I have a, a play, man, um, man of the House, that'll be here in Atlanta oh, cool. um, on November 3rd. So I'm yeah, excited about fun, that. So I'm, you know, acting, producing, and focusing a lot more on acting. You doing more music? Yes, I am. I you absolutely good. am. Yay. Good, 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 good. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a long time. It's a, ugh, it's a long time coming, but Child. yeah, it's, um, it's a labor of love and it's coming. What's yes. the feel of it? Uh, it's, it's, um, I'm telling my story. Okay. I'm telling my story and it's, it's moody. Oh, it's nice. Nice. I, like, I, like I like that. Moody. I like, I like that. Yes. You know, fun and just, like you know, it's going to have nice, nice levels and stuff like that. Are we going to have anything like touch it at all? That was my jam. I have to, I, I'm, I'm really looking for one right now. I'm, like, I'm looking for that right now. Oh, it's I coming. love it. I love it. Thank but you. You can catch Monifa on Iyanla Fix My Life this Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern on OWN. And the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms.